What's up everybody, it's Grim, your YouTube Wrestling Figures Heavyweight Champion, coming to you today with my raw reaction for last night's episode, and what an episode it was! How excited were you, Doo Hop, Darn. to see Roman Reigns wrestle, not once, not twice, but three times! Yeah! Yeah! Roman Reigns, yeah! Roman Reigns, three times! We're kidding. <laughs> People were pissed! Fortunately, one time when he came out of the wrong commercial, I didn't have to see his entrance again. <laughs> why the hell are they making Roman Reigns wrestle three times? I'll tell you why. The authority does not want him in Money in the Bank. Nobody does. Then why the fuck did they book him in the match in the first place? Well, it's stupid! <laughs> I think it's funny that they're trying to make Roman Reigns... Uh, Six foot five muscular Samoan, the underdog. <laughs> We're holding him down! <laughs> it's like trying to take a pit bull and call it a little busted terrier. That's what I mean. Like, like it kind of worked with Daniel Bryan, you know? He's right. like, he's like, you know, four foot two. Little wing wang. <laughs> you know what I mean? You could like throw him through a window if you wanted to. But Roman Reigns, come on! He ain't no underdog. He looks like a badass, you know? Right? I don't know. But what happens? Roman Reigns not only defeats Bad News Barrett, not only defeats Mark Henry, he also defeats Bray Wyatt in the main event of Monday Night Raw, and people were pissed. Why? Because everybody likes Bray Wyatt. We don't like him to lose, especially to people like Roman Reigns. So should I tell them? Should I just tell them? I think that's why we're here. Yeah. I'm just going to tell you. Yeah. I'm Kevin Owens. Surprise! <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. But the dude who looks exactly like me walks out on a Raw and is all like, blah, 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 Super Cena, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I, I was waiting for Hot Kids. <laughs> hot Kids! <laughs> Why didn't he say Hot Kids? <laughs> Kevin Owens comes out and starts blabbing his gums about how he should be riding high after the biggest win of his career. But all his kid cares about is John Cena, okay? Kids were pissed! <laughs> I found it funny as fuck that he's like, John Cena, you are Super Cena. You are the superhero to all these kids living by your catchphrases. Rah, rah, rah. Out comes John Cena. Here comes John Cena to flap his gums about how I was going to give you the U.S. title. You deserved it. You beat me. Until you come out here and start running your mouth like a jerk off. Now me, I'm John Cena. Hey kids. And I just wanted to tell you that I get myself over by talking to kids with cancer. And telling them to never give up. And, you know, it's really sad. The kids with cancer, they're, they're crying and they're cheering for Cena and God bless them. John Cena, you're doing a good thing. But at the same time, don't try to get yourself over by using the poor little kid with cancer, you son of a bitch. I don't know. <laughs> Did that push you off a little bit? A little bit. A little bit, right? I mean, I mean, you know, at the same time, at the end of the show, he brought the kid into the ring and they did a thing. And honest to God, when I looked at it, it gave me a little bit of a tear in my eye because the kid really looks up to John Cena and loves him that much. And it really meant the world for him to be in the ring with John Cena. Good for you, John. Super Cena. Yeah, Super Cena. <laughs> <laughs> but as far as the promo goes, they're about to come to blows. And then Kevin Owens bails. <laughs> Uh, I love him though, he's the best heel going, that's what heels do. Of course! <laughs> but why do you do that? Because it's a heel move! <laughs> the Intercontinental title was on the line as the man, Ryback, feed me porn! Feed me porn! <laughs> or is it feed me whores? <laughs> Whatever, feed do a pizza. <laughs> You could feed me whores if you want. Anyhow, he's going to defend against the man who's dressed up like a homosexual Sith Lord, The Miz! Nobody likes The Miz! I hate The Miz! I just want to slap the piss out of that man! Lousy man, he makes me mad! So I couldn't wait to see Ryback kick the ever-living shit out of him. And who ruins my night? Well, it's the shit show. The fat fuck waddles his way down to the ring, gets up in it, and what's he do? Knocks the Miz the fuck out with the weapon of ass destruction. I'm like, what, you, what is this, supposed to be like a big show face turn? No, he's out there to challenge Ryback for the Intercontinental title. And I'm just like... <sighs> 
Really? Now I have to sit there and stress as Ryback defends his Intercontinental title against the Big Show in a future matchup? Because this is where they're going with their feud? Hopefully. And I mean, hopefully, this is just a way to get Ryback over and get him a big win as the Intercontinental Champion. I, I, a big win, literally, because, I mean, Ryback can actually pick that fat fuck up. And I'm excited to see him lift up that big sack of shit. Feed me more. Feed me more. And shit shock the fat fuck backwards. Uh, it's going to be great. Hopefully he has a heart attack when he hits the ground, too. <laughs> big show, don't die. Anyway... I'd much rather see Ryback feud with somebody like Bray Wyatt, who had a match with him and beat him two weeks ago. Wouldn't that make sense? <laughs> well, you know, Ryback, you went down in defeat to Bray Wyatt two weeks ago. And now, I want to take the title from around your waist, Ryback. No, no, that would make too much sense. It might actually be interesting. After the Elimination Chamber, I was super pumped to see what's going to happen on Raw with Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins in the WWE Championship. Yeah. And the episode completely shit the bed in that respect because they didn't even... What the fuck? I just keep finding figures all over the floor. <laughs> They're all over the floor! Where's the lunatic fridge? Uh, here he is. No, no. This is the lunatic fringe. Yeah. Here's the lunatic fridge. There it is. <laughs> it's crazy! There's all kinds of snacks in here. Now, seriously, they shit the bed, right? Rollins comes out at the beginning of the episode and says, All right, we're going to have a ladder match for the WWE title in two weeks of Money in the Bank. And then where's Dean Ambrose? And then all night long, there's no Dean Ambrose. Until right at the end, Rollins is waiting for him. Where's Dean Ambrose? Son of a bitch finally comes out, stands up on the announce table. Show goes over. They did nothing. People were pissed. <laughs> you know what was fucking dumb? Nikki Bella puts the title on the line against Paige. What the fuck happened to Naomi? Right? They have a match. And how does Nikki Bella retain the title? With twin magic with her sister. Who doesn't even look like her anymore? Who's so stupid? You got sexy baseball player and hippie vegan chick. One's got giant balloon knockers. The other one's got tiny little mosquito bites. Twin magic don't work. It's fucking dumb. It might work with the ninja twins. They actually look like each other. Ninja twin magic. Did you catch the part where Michael Cole called Mark Henry Fart Henry? It was GTS wrestling references all day. <laughs> Was laughing. It happened! My heart's bleeding. You wanna know why? My heart's bleeding. My heart's bleeding for Rusev. <laughs> Out of nowhere! <laughs> Poor Rusev does this little promo and he's sad. The first time ever, he's like going, blah, 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 blah. he's sitting there and he's all, I have no woman. I have no belt. And now I'm injured. I have no career. Fuck you, John Cena! Fuck you, John Cena! In your asshole! Fuck you, the old country way! You take everything from me, John Cena! Dude, he was so mad! Rusev was pissed! I thought it was a great promo, and it really made me feel bad for him. Did you feel bad for him? Oh, I was like, he's like, I'm oh, gonna get it back! <laughs> Uh, Rusev will get the door back! Rusev will destroy! Rusev been crushed, but I will do the crushing as soon as I eat me spinach! <laughs> <laughs> it was a great promo. I absolutely loved it. There's a lot of pointless stuff that happened on Raw, like uh, Sheamus versus Randy Orton. Sheamus winning. Or Randy Orton won by DQ because Sheamus hit him with a chair. Too stupid. Uh, Kofi Kingston fought Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler yeah. It was a bunch of Money in the Bank guys going up against each other. Because all the guys from Money in the Bank, they're all going to face each other. You know, and then two weeks leading into it. <laughs> next week's all ready to go home show for the next pay-per-view. Which is fucking fantastic. And I don't know. I think that was all the major stuff that happened on Raw. I don't like to, to review every little aspect of Raw. I just like to react to the major stuff that happened. And I thank you guys for watching this video. If there's anything I didn't talk about, let's discuss it down in the comments below. And I thank you for watching. Please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe for more Grim Out!
Doohop's gone, rolling off the air. Now it's time for the Stone Cold Podcast with Paul Heyman. And what did I think of the podcast? I thought that the podcast was fantastic. I love these podcasts. I love Stone Cold Steve Austin, even though he blocked me for asking him to ask Mr. McMahon about CM Punk when he had McMahon on his podcast. Thanks for blocking me, Stone Cold. But anyhow, I thought that it was a really good podcast. And Paul Heyman tried to set up a match between Brock Lesnar and Stone Cold Steve Austin for WrestleMania 32 in Texas. Is it going to happen? Uh-uh. I can't see this happening whatsoever. Unless this was all a pre-planned setup and that's exactly where they're going. Could you imagine the hype? Could you imagine the insanity if Brock Lesnar takes on Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania 32? The fucking roof is going to blow off of that Pontiac Silver Dome or whatever the fuck place they're at. A&T&T Dome. Bullshit. It's gonna be fucking amazing and I'm super excited for it. What do you guys think? WrestleMania 32? Austin versus Brock? Is it gonna happen or no? Leave me your thoughts in the comments below.